Jim, I love the fact that the CFPB is now Washington's new flashpoint. What is it exactly? Isn't that great? Um, <laughs> the CFPB, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, was set up after the financial crisis to crack down on uh, people basically getting defrauded, households getting defrauded. Um, and it has been a target of um, the Republican Party since it was set up under the Dodd-Frank bill. Now, the, the current um, standoff is that uh, apparently uh, under the Dodd-Frank bill, the outgoing director has the authority right. to appoint the new director. Uh, you know, President Trump uh, does not accept the letter of the law, obviously, and says that his uh, authority trumps all else. So he's nominated um, <clears throat> his OMB director as a, as a uh, temporary right. uh, director. Does he actually want to shut it down? This is kind of some of the rumor mills or that people are saying that he may want to shut it down. You know, it was set up by legislation. You can't just shut it down. Right. It's still a democracy, after all, a nation of laws. Right. And, uh, but he certainly has, has been highly critical of it. And, and whether they actually do what they're supposed to do under him is, you know, remains to be seen if, in fact, he gets the job. Okay, I have like a million questions uh, to Peter in a second about how this impacts, uh, you know, the stocks in the U.S., but tax. Are we going to get it by the end of the year or is it too far-fetched? It's not too far-fetched, but there's very little margin of error. But, uh, you know, the Republicans have two votes to spare and, you know, there, uh, there are at least half a dozen senators who have criticized the bill from one angle or another. And it's, it's a very tricky balancing act to try and satisfy one you might... Yeah. Uh, you know, create another uh, opponent. So, you know, again, because it's so existential for the Republican Party, uh, this is this is why, uh, you know, how they rationalize, how the Republicans rationalize, right. you know, Roy Moore, who is accused of, of uh, you know, sexual indiscretions with, with a minor. Uh, you know, that's the rationale for uh, bringing him, endorsing him for the Senate to have enough votes to pass the Senate bill. So, you you the tax bill. So you see how important. It, it is to the party. Uh, that said, you know, you'd probably give it a 55-45 chance of passage then.